so I rotated every level in Portal 2 45 degrees. This not only broke many things, but also allowed for some previously impossible skips, so I thought it would balance out and we would just get a slightly longer speed run. Evidently, I was wrong. This took over 13 hours of gameplay, all of which was streamed live on Twitch, so consider checking that out if you want to see more of these challenges. Anyway, upon entering our first level, two things caught my attention. One was a lack of proper lighting and textures. When I started this challenge, I had very little experience with level editing, so some of these earlier levels look, uh, disgusting. The other thing we noticed was that the stairs weren't wide enough to fit the player normally. Remember, I rotated the levels, not shell. Overall, things were going surprisingly smoothly. I guess putting cubes on buttons was a little difficult, but all in all, movement seemed to be the biggest hurdle. We even skipped some levels in Chapter 1 just because we couldn't get to the exit. I really hoped that after getting the portal gun, things would become much easier. But again, I was wrong. Very early into Chapter 2, I realized that the more moving parts you have, the more fragile the system gets. For whatever reason, reflector cubes just couldn't slide down the 45 degree slope in the dropper. Try pressing the button? Ah, thank you. I have not thought of that. We were properly stuck. After messing around for a little bit, I finally gave in and just skipped the level. Of course, it wasn't all bad. There were some levels where we could just walk to the exit. Surprisingly, the sideways portals hadn't bothered us at all up until the introduction of the hard light bridge, but as long as I watch my step, we should be fine. We also quickly found out that turrets aren't immune to gravity, so the last map of part 1 was a cakewalk. Yeah, because of how long this was going to take, I decided to split it up into parts, and because of that, I had time between streams to fix all the issues. Well, most of the issues. Still, the chambers were now doable with some clever trickery and glitches, and being a speedrunner, I know a thing or two about those. With the levels getting more and more intricate, the complexity of the solutions also increased. We spent half an hour on one level, but finally getting to the end was incredibly rewarding. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Suck on that little bitch! Then, the same thing happened on the next level. There was a solution, but it wasn't going to be easy, so after 20 minutes and a majority vote, we ended up skipping the chamber again. And again. And again. You see, none of these skips were due to the challenge being impossible. In fact, after the stream, I confirmed that everything was doable if I had more carefully tested levels prior to playing them. So I guess that's a lesson learned for part 3. Still, I wasn't going to stop here just yet. We still had one thing on the agenda. Escape. Overall, this was looking to be pretty easy. Just trigger the cutscene, walk out on the catwalks, and... Oh, right. Since the level is rotated 45 degrees, anything that would normally be, let's say, 30 degrees up, now becomes 75 degrees. We can't climb that! But after a lot, and I mean a lot of messing around, and help from chat, we managed to ride Wheatley- Okay, maybe I should rephrase that. We managed to get stuck inside Wheatley- No, wait, that's still- We just got pushed to the end, alright? There, that's good enough. And it finally seemed like we were approaching the end, until... Holy fuck, holy fuck, that is not a door! That is not a door that opens properly! No, 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 please, please, let me through! Yeah, okay, I think it goes without saying. We skipped that. Next up was turret and neurotoxin sabotage. These were the prime examples for levels that were too open for their own good. In short, I just jumped over the first one and climbed the wall for the second one. Also, because of how stupid the source engine is, I couldn't figure out how to rotate the fall, so I did this instead. There we go. All right. <laughs> It is rotated! Cutscenes aside, the first actual chamber after the fall was yet another instance of the infamous unclimbable stairs. Okay, turns out they were climbable, I'm just bad at circle jumping. 
But if we ignore that, we managed to get as far as the last fling, which unless you can find a 45 degree landing pad, there's no way we're making this. Aside from that, the rest was pretty easy. In fact, it looked like most of these old aperture levels were going to be easily skipped by going around the chamber thanks to how open these areas are. So that's what we did, most of the time anyway. Surprisingly, Potatoes was the first level where our sideways portals were actually a problem. Since I couldn't just teleport over the bottomless pit, we had to source a more creative solution. Nah, that's as, that's as far as- WAIT! LET'S FUCKING GO! <laughs> Although the celebration was definitely deserved, we soon found out that this was just a mere fraction of the hurdles we'd face. For the first time in this challenge, we had to fling. Sideways. Well, yeah, but like, I'll hit the pipe. Never mind, I won't, burger, what the fuck? <laughs> okay! Okay! Nice! Nice! Nid, shut the fuck up, it worked! <laughs> as much as I'd like to just edit in a couple of clips and call it a day, I really should mention that this level alone took an hour and a half with an endless stream of feedback and ideas in the live chat, so thank you everyone for sticking with me while I went insane. But for real, this part of the game was surprisingly difficult. Maybe it would have been different had it been rotated in another direction, but I only managed to do three levels in one stream, even having to skip one of them because we couldn't figure out a way to get to the exit. But we were finally getting very close to the end, and I still had one final trick up my sleeve to pick up the pace. So I decided to do the entire rest of the game in one final live stream. How do we do it? Well, the start was pretty much the same as the last few levels. We spent a little over an hour until we decided to skip it due to the elevator not doing its fucking job. After that, the trump card I didn't know I needed was right there in front of me. The funnel. So, in case you're somehow not familiar with this day one exploit, there's a glitch where you can crouch at the end of a funnel to preserve its zero gravity state. For us, that meant that we could go virtually anywhere. The ceiling and the floor was a slope, so we could easily control our height and speed. What used to be our biggest obstacle was now our way of transport. Of course, that's not to say the rest of the game was completely free from here on out. Once we reached Laser Platform, we ran into the classic issue of cubes not staying in place. We did try the good old freeze glitch, but this was just way too precise. But after a very hot half an hour, I managed to pull off a different trick. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Now, we were finally on a direct path to the finale. Yeah, something was preventing us from shooting portals on the intended panels. Perhaps the fact that the portals were goddamn sideways, but thanks to the sloped floor, we could still hit this little moron with some tight portal placement. Oh, nice! Okay, we got it, we got it, got it. Okay. Uh, I doubt this will work, but let's try. Oh, it does, it does, it does, it does. Okay. Put the thing in there, put the thing in there, put the thing in there. No, 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 shit, fuck, fuck, no, please, please, does that work? Damn it, no, mm, I need to get down, need to get down, need to get down, fuck, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, okay, okay, we're down, we're back down, we're back down, it was somewhere like here, it was somewhere here, all right, no panic, we've still got a minute, yes, nice, oh, we got the last one, too early moonshot or bad, bruh. How do I even line up for it? I'm- I- I won't fall if I shoot the portal. Huh? <laughs> I'm- I'm just gonna accept that I'm bad. Alright, alright. Here goes. Here goes. The climactic finale of all the work that we've been putting in, in all these streams. It doesn't work. Portal placement never fail. Oh, GG, let's fucking go. So yeah, good freaking game. Like, okay, I have to admit, we did end up skipping a few levels, but the point still stands as these are some 13 hours I'm never getting back.
Also, since you're still here, that clearly means that you liked at least some of what you saw. So please consider following on Twitch or YouTube to let me know that I didn't waste 13 hours of my life and that I should keep doing this kind of stuff. And if you want to participate in one of these challenges yourself, I often let my Twitch viewers control aspects of the game, so make sure you don't miss those streams. Anyway, that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.